Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Uh, this is episode number 619, and the question comes from Lou Seaman, K2NYL. And before we get into this question, I would remind you to subscribe. Um, a lot of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed. I'd like to get you into the subscriber list. Uh, the benefit is that you can call yourself an Augie because the subscribers take the OG name and are Augies. That's also a Welsh pastry, but we won't worry about that. Okay, the question is about efficiency with regard to a matching network. He has modeled a vertical antenna design that has an input impedance of 205 ohms resistive and 2,588 ohms reactive. That is an extremely reactive antenna and will be very difficult to match. Okay, and I'm curious what the more efficient way is to get the feed point to 50 ohms. Would using a 1 to 4 unun and then add some inductance to cancel the capacitive reactance be more efficient than just using a lumped LC circuit or vice versa? In this case, I think you're going to have to put the tuner right at the base of the antenna so that there is, in essence, no transmission line. Because with an antenna this reactive, it's extremely reactive, it's almost all reactive. Uh, you're going to need a huge amount of, well, let's see, if you've got minus, that's actually inductive, isn't it? I don't know. I can never remember this one where, where it goes plus and another way where it goes positive. But you're going to have to um, do something serious. Now, there are several companies that make antenna tuners that are designed to be put at the base of an antenna, base of a vertical antenna. Uh, LDG makes them, MFJ makes them. Uh, you can also get them from, from Yesu and ICOM. And um, they sit right at the base of the antenna. The antenna connects directly to the tuner, so there is no transmission line. So there's not something that can be really lossy. Now, as far as the 4 to 1 type match for the resistive part, the tuner will take care of that. This is going to have to be a very wide range um, tuner because you're wildly reactive um, to get the thing to move. I would go back and look at the design of the antenna and see if there is something you can do to make it less reactive. Now, if the reactive portion of a circuit uh, is large reactance versus the uh, ohmic impedance, the ohmic resistance, you're going to have a very high Q antenna. And a high Q antenna, that's the high quality factor, means it's the ratio of the resistance to the react reactance to the resistance. Um, it will not cover very much of the band without retuning, okay? Because uh, it's just so high Q, it only covers a small portion of the band. You'll have to retune when you go to a different portion of the band. Now, these tuners are not cheap. They're um, a few hundred dollars, and then you've got to run either the control wires or the DC control voltage will go um, out to it as part of the coax, and you've got a little bias T in there somewhere. And there will be a control unit that tunes the transmitter. If you buy, if you've got a Yesu, or if, I'm sorry, ICOM, in this case, ICOM radio, and you buy the ICOM tuner, the uh, wiring is already in there that you can connect to the tuner that will allow the radio to tune the tuner. Okay, so um, I would uh, suggest taking a look at the design to see what you can do to get that reactance down to where it is approximately equal to the resistance 
205, like 205 minus J205, uh, 205, something like that. Um, you can add lumped capacitance or lumped resistance uh, to the antenna. I put it in the middle of the antenna if you can. And then uh, that way you're taking out some of the reactants and that will keep the circulating currents actually flowing in the antenna uh, where they can radiate rather than in the transmission line. I would not even suggest feeding this with uh, open wire line. That, that reactance is just too high. Okay, so good luck with that. There you have it. The giveaway for the month of January um, 2022. Uh, in this, your entry must be in by the fourth I'm sorry, last Thursday of the month, because that's when I do a live stream. This is one of those little emergency radios where you can hand crank it, okay, like this. And uh, it's got a little solar thing, so you can leave it in the sun. It's got a flashlight uh, that uh, makes a little light. Um, you can put in um, here to, uh, if you want, to put a, a, use this to charge your phone um, or to put music into, play music from memory cards or something. This is power on and off, a little volume control there, and a switch down here in the bottom. This thing comes with its little case. It comes with a, um, USB uh, port that can be used in a variety of ways and it comes with instructions. So this is our giveaway for uh, the month of, no of January 2021 and we will give that away. Now let's talk about how you enter. You send uh, to me via snail mail to Dave Kassler KE0OG PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. And you put the giveaway number on there, which is number six. And um, your shipping address to which you would like it shipped, your name and call sign, and your phone number. And that way I can call you if I've got any questions interpreting your card. Okay, so have at it. And until we next meet, 73.